Last time I'm showing you how to install custom fonts, like for example, Arial, if you want that kind of font. There's the Heroes font, there's loads of different fonts. Uh, go to, there's this one which you may have seen in the Doctor Who Adventures. I think I like this Dalek one. They're very, very strong files, you can install, you can install absolutely hundreds. First off, you need to go to deathfont.com. All the links th that we use in this video will be in the description. Okay, so go to deathfont.com. Now, there's two versions the France version and the English version. I don't know the English, because it's all English. English. Well, actually, some of us are American, but still. And then you can see here, so for example, it has all these. So, for example, if I wanted sci fi, I'll click sci fi. Literally, yeah, here you go. It'll come up. And as you can see, there's actually 31 pages of sci fi fonts. There's Sega font. If you don't know what a font is, it is. Pretty stupid. It's a font is what this is. For example, this come this box will come up and paint. Arial is the font, so you see. Ha ha ha. And if you want to change that, Arial black. As you can see, it changes. And that's what the font is. Now, just to show you an example of how good this is, I installed one which you may recognise if you know anything about Pokemon. There you go. That's the unknown. That says, that says the exact same thing. Anyway, to install one, you need to obviously I'm going to install the Sega. I'm going to go download the Sega one. So I'm going to go download PC Mac OS X. It does work on Mac as well. Sega.zip. Save file. Down here, it will load down really quickly because it's 8.5 kilobytes. That's a um, font, by the way. <laughs> and then you need to so yeah as you can see it's installed now what you don't do is right well, cause now what you do you, you should have WinRAR you don't really you don't really need WinRAR but it's, it's what I use it makes it much easier for me but even though I like it the most in the world anyway now you have to look for now you've downloaded that go I'll close down to the to get that back up so start Go on yours. My, in my case, it's KHDUI. So click on that, or whatever your username is. You can see a window pop up. Click on downloads. I'm sure you know this already. <laughs> and then as you can see, you have all these little things you downloaded. Um, I'm looking. So what was the one that I downloaded? It was called Sega. Was it? So what I'll do is I'll hit S. And it will search everything that starts in S. So S again, that's not there. That's not it. Here we go. Sega. Right click. Go extract to Sega. Don't extract it from the main program. Make sure you do it from Windows Explorer. Extract to Sega. And you can see it will do it very, very quickly. And then at the top, you should have your font file. And as you can see there, right click. Click install. Click continue, and then it'll install it. Now that may seem like a quick process, but that is all you really need to do. And now it's worked correctly. Um, looking for F. Oh, there's Sega logo font. The one bear different names, so for example, the Pokemon one is called Anon, so that was the file it was in. Where was it? Wait, 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 wait. Sega logo font, now I'm going to type up the PhD one, it's in the Sega logo. And now, to make it classic Sega, go, or to uh, have their real, real name. There we go. And there you have it, folks. That's all you need to do. Start installing your custom fonts. There's thousands of fonts on daftfont.com. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's been Coach JY. And I'm out.